Who are you? Hi, my name is Mickey Blanco. Um, <laughs> uh, rapper, entertainer. Mickey Blanco, welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Thank you for having me, Nardwar. Thank you, British Columbia. I've been on a Pacific Northwest tour. It's been really awesome. I am very welcome to be here. I'm very happy to be here and feel welcome. And Mickey, right off the bat, I thought I'd give you a gift here to welcome you to Vancouver, a Bushwick Bill record. Oh, I do like Bushwick Bill. I'm a fan of Bushwick Bill. This is cool. So here we have a Bushwick Bill record. This? Yeah, that's a gift for you. Oh, okay. Awesome. <laughs> so welcome you to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Hey, this is cool. This is starting off cool. I was nervous, but this is cool. Okay. Mickey, you've said that you're from a long lineage of weirdos in hip-hop. I was wondering, who are the weirdos in hip-hop? I mean, I think that would be considered anyone from, like, Eminem to, like, Busta Rhymes to Andre 3000 to Missy Elliott to Timbaland to the Neptunes to, uh, I mean, I don't know, people like uh, Old Dirty, Old Dirty Bastard, um, Red Man. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let me see who else. That's a good list of weirdos. Just Debrat as well. I would consider him Debrat a weirdo. <laughs> Why is Debrat a weirdo? I, I, think, I think. I mean, something about Debrat's like it's just like kind of like rough around the edges, but like in the kind of like really crazy way. We're like you know really crazy to see me a little bit. Mickey Blanco. It all goes back though, really, doesn't it, to Tracy and the Plastics. Whoa! Oh gosh, I wish this was not. Empty! Well, okay, yes. It really actually does go back to Chasing the Classics. I used to listen to this all the time. This this release, I listen to this, I've listened to this so many times between the ages of like 13 to 14. No, probably like, more like 15 to 17. 18 and 19. <laughs> what can you tell the people about Tracy and the Plastics? Um, I know her real name was Lynn, and I know that Nikki and Cola were not other people they were her as well and i think she was from portland or olympia or i think she looks from was from she's from washington i remember that tracy and the plastics and julie ruin you love julie ruin too i actually that is actually the, the album i listen to the most i listen to that actually all the time like all the time and what I was wondering is, is it true that you once sent an email to Kathleen Hanna, but then your uncle deleted it from your Hotmail account? That is actually very true. I had emails between the Lat I had I had, a, I had an email from La Tigra. They emailed me back. I had emailed Vincent Gallo. I had an email from Vincent Gallo. I had an email from Vaginal Cream Davis. I had an email from Bibby Hansen, who's Beck's mom. Um, I had these people's emails. And my uncle one day, because we both share the last name, like get into the Hotmail account. He'd assume that he had the only Hotmail account logged into my grandparents' computer. And it's like I was visiting and I had my own Hotmail account also linked to their computer. And he just began deleting emails because he thought they were junk mail. And they were my emails. Anyway, I'm still, as you can tell, I still get very upset. These are Hotmail days. I, I think they, obviously, they still exist somewhere in this black hole of the internet. So I'm hoping like 10 years in the future when you can retrace old things like that, I'll get them all back. Because, you know, they're still, they actually still do exist. Darknet. And I was feeling sorry for you, Mickey. I thought, hmm, you lost those important communiques. So I thought I would give you, although not Julie Ruin, I thought I would give you a La Tigra record, equally important, at least to me. I do love this record as well. I know a lot of these fake French I love off this record. Très bien. I think, what's, what, I think T TJF also is a really good song. How did you get into Tracy and the Plastics and La Tigra and Julie Ruin? Like, who told you about them? Um, well, I think it was actually from, like, websites, like, I mean, it was Index Magazine, like, I would find out a lot from Index, I think that was, like, Index and Paper, and then it was just, like, Audio Galaxy or, like, Napster. Now, you're into literature and reading and stuff. Were you a child actor? I was a child actor. So how was your reading? What lines did you read? Where can we see you, possibly? I, I, to be honest, I don't, I don't really know where you'd be able to find any of my child actor stuff. I, I don't, actually. Was it ads? What did you do? I mean, I did, I did, uh, I didn't do ads. I did like a video for the 4-H club one time. I did a video for, like, I, did, I was in a Halle, I was in an Oprah television movie called The Wedding. If, like, you go to the last, if you go to one of the last scenes, like, you can, like, see me for like two seconds. Another gift here, Mickey Blanco. Lil' Kim, suck my dick. This is important for Mickey Blanco, isn't it? Oh, this is really cool. Whoa. 
Oh my god. Yes, you get to keep that one. This is so cool. Whoa. This is so crazy. What makes that exciting to you, Mickey? Um, well, the name Mickey Blanco comes from the name Kimmy Blanco. So my name is like direct like homage to like little Kim. So this is cool. And little Kim suck my... This is dope. This is awesome. She looks great. Mickey, what's inside the cock? That's a bar. Yeah, could you describe the rooms? What is it like inside? <laughs> it's, it's um a bit dark, you know, um, sometimes sweaty. Sometimes there are decorations. We paste it on the walls. There's a bar. There's usually go-go boys. Sometimes there's transvestites. Sometimes there's drag queens. It's usually boys in their underwear. There's a back. The whole, the whole area is... Sometimes there's a downstairs. Sometimes... So those is just the room. What are the washrooms like at the cock? There, uh, <laughs> there aren't really any. Uh, I mean, there's one stall. Yeah, there's yeah. The other two are just like your two urinals. It's uh, really low lit. Mickey Blanco from Beat Magazine. Quote, I do wild stuff, like go to the cock, and they do contests, like who'd get naked on the bar and dance for $50? I'd do it and get the $50. <laughs> I did it one time. I did do that one time. I think that that was, um, you know, that was a very liberating experience. It was, I was young, so it was, it was very rewarding. So my question for you, Mickey Blanco, is did you have to show your cock at the cock? <sighs> this it was a nude it was a nude it was a nude dance, so there was yes, cock shown at the cock. It's very true. It's very true. Mickey Blanco, did you go to a porn seminar in Toronto? You know what? That is very true. I did. Mm -hmm. go, but that was only because the seminar was at the same club that I performed at, Nardwar. And <laughs> And so we were actually, you know, just like this, we're doing this interview here. It was a very similar context. It just happened to be at the same venue that we were performing at. Have you got a chance to meet Bruce LaBruce? He's from Toronto. I've never met him, no, but I've, I've been shouted out by him on the internet, so I appreciate that. Mickey Blanco, you're so versatile. I love that you can open for Death Grips. That did happen, yes. And then you can also open for Bjork. That is about to happen. Yeah, like, who can do that? Open for Death Crips and Bjork. That's incredible. Um, well, the, the Bjork thing has not happened yet, but I'm really excited about it. And Death Crips are like big brothers to me. So I'm like always, anytime I can play a show with them, they're actually going to play both of those shows as well. Um, that, I'm, that I'm doing as well. It's going to be me, Death Crips, and Bjork in, in Toronto and in Ottawa. So... Like, I'm happy about that. Mickey Blanco, what do you think about the gay apps that are out there? Like Grindr. Have you heard of Grindr? I know about Grindr. What can you tell people about Grindr and what do you think about them? Grindr is an app where if you are in the radius of someone else and they are also in your nearby area, you could chat them up and have coffee with them or, or say hi or you can chat people and say, hey, how, how, where are you? What's up? You're attractive. Have you used it at all? Have you given it a like? What would you say? I've used it, but I've actually, I've used it, but I deleted it because it was not, that's not really like a realistic way for like me. I don't know. Some people it works, for other people it's kind of like, like for me it goes back and forth. It's like if I use that app or whatever, but I have like my hair short, but then I get like a weave. It's like everything, everything changes. And then like I meet guys in like a different way if I have a weave. So it's like everything's, you have to roll with the tides. Well, thanks so much, Mickey Blanco. Anything else you want to add to the people out there at all? Um, Nardwar, you have picked my brain, and these are some very interesting finds. I feel very... Uh, this actually is a library book that I'm having to return, so uh, maybe you could just uh, get that one back to me. <laughs> anything. Any display purposes only. Anything for you, Nardwar. And actually, I was wondering, Mickey Blanco, why should people care about Mickey Blanco? Why should people care? It's good music, it's a great live show, um, and I just continually want to keep like bringing like, you know, uh, hot, polished aesthetics and uh, 
different visions of doing stuff and like my culture and like the people that I know and like the different artists and stuff that uh, I think are making really interesting things in contemporary times. <laughs> well, thanks much, Mickey Blanco. Keep on rocking in the free world and do, 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 do.